Shall we all lift up our voice to Jesus? Lift up your voice. Everyone, everywhere you are connected, magnify him. Celebrate the faithfulness of God for he is wonderful. Lift up your voice, everyone. Glorify God and the beauty of his holiness. Give him all the praise. Give him all the glory. Give him all the honor. Give him the adoration. There is no king like him. There is no savior like him. He is worthy to be praised. He is worthy to be adored. He is the ruler of the universe. He is the king of all kings. There is no one like him. There is no God like him. He is worthy to be adored. Bless him. Lift him up. Let him hear your voice of worship. Come on, give him praise and give him glory. He is worthy of all praise. Blessed be your holy name. For you are glorious and worthy to be praised. You are the Lamb upon the throne. And on to you. We lift our voice in praise. You are the Lamb upon the throne. Lord, you are glorious and worthy to be praised. You are the Lamb upon the throne and on to you we lift our hands in praise you are the lamb upon the throne lift up your voice everyone Worship the Lamb upon the throne. Worship the Son coming King. Worship the mighty man of war. Worship the Prince of Peace. Let him hear your voice in the place of worship. Give him praise. Give him glory. Give him all the honor. Give him all the adoration. He is glorious. He is worthy to be praised. He is the Lamb upon the throne. What a great God we serve. What an awesome God we magnify you, O Lord. Blessed be your name forever. In Jesus' precious name we worship. Amen. Now as we continue celebrating and glorifying God today on the altar of prayer, I would like you to understand that appreciation is an invitation for more of God's visitation. Appreciation is an invitation for more of God's visitation. When you learn to appreciate God genuinely, you steer up more of his visitation on the earth. And when God visits you, situations must turn around for you. In John chapter 11, verse 41 to verse 44, Jesus had a situation. He got to Lazarus' place, and uh, Lazarus was dead. Everybody was crying. The sister said, if you had been there before earlier, the brother wouldn't have died. And Jesus said to them, roll away the stone. And after the stone was rolled away, the Bible says Jesus lifted up his eyes and said, Father, I thank you because thou hast had me. And I know that you hear me always. And by that machinery of appreciation, God visited that tomb. And Jesus cried out with a loud voice, 
Lazarus, come forth. And the Bible says, he that was dead came alive. Why? He knew how to engage the provision of appreciation to stir up the visitation of God. And he that was dead come alive. Someone is listening to me today. From that dead situation, you are coming alive. That dead womb is coming alive. That dead business is coming alive. Whatever they have termed dead, inactive, no more operating, no more life, non-functional, unproductive, not working as it ought to be working, that thing is coming alive today in the precious and mighty name of Jesus Christ. I'd like you to understand, when Jesus lifted up his voice to say thank you to God, God came to the scene to bring forth Lazarus back to life. I know somebody is expecting a visitation of God today. I want you to lift up your voice wherever you are and give God heartfelt, genuine thanksgiving. Appreciate Him. You are seeing this season and the journey of your life. Some people slept and they could not wake up. Some woke up, their life is not functional. Thank God for the things that are working in your life. Thank God for the things that you are believing him to work upon. Thank him for your children. Lift up your voice, everyone. Come on, give God thanks. Give him praise. Give him glory. Thank him again. You cannot thank God enough. God, we thank you. Lord, we honor you. Blessed be your name, O oh God. In Jesus' precious name, we give thanks. And after Jesus gave thanks, Lazarus came forth. There was a divine visitation that produced uncommon testimony. It was an amazement to everyone that was there that, oh, a man dead after four days already stinking can come alive. But Jesus called him forth. Lazarus, come out. And he came out of visitation of heaven, brought forth supernatural testimonies on the earth. Therefore, you are going to lift up your voice as well and pray. And say, Father, today visit me with uncommon testimonies on the altar of prayer. Visit me today with uncommon testimonies, unusual testimonies testimonies that is beyond the natural on the altar of prayer today my father my father visit my family visit my destiny visit me oh god wait on come on on come on on come on come on pray on come on testimonies today on the altar of prayer visit me today labo susi brekela Marado, Rababa, Rakapo, Ragedeguzea, Esuse Brede Beleguja. Visit me, visit my home, visit my destiny today with uncommon, uncommon, uncommon testimony on the altar of prayer. Thank you, my Father. Bless, bless be your name. In Jesus' precious name. We pray. Today, as you say, my Lord and Claire, I see God visiting you with uncommon testimony. Testimonies like never before. In the name of Jesus Christ. On all sides, I decree and I declare, today is your turn for uncommon testimony. Everything that will stand against your testimony on the altar of prayer today, I command them dismantled. I command them destroyed by the power of the Holy Ghost. God will visit you today with uncommon testimonies in the name of Jesus Christ. Uncommon financial testimonies. 
uncommon breakthrough testimonies, uncommon testimony concerning your marriage, in the name of Jesus Christ, when God visited the tomb of Lazarus, deadness gave way for life. Therefore, whatever must give way for your testimony to emerge by the reason of today's prayer, I command them to give way right now in the name of Jesus Christ. Father, have your way today. Please glorify your name. Let everyone have an encounter with you. Let this psalm of today liberate the destinies of your children. Blessed be your name, Father. Grant utterance, release authority, and let all the glory be yours. In Jesus' mighty name, we pray. Amen. Wonderful. What a glorious encounter. I want to welcome you, everyone, wherever you are connected, to another encounter with the power of God on the altar of prayer. Today, by the grace of God, we shall continue our prayer series on praying the Psalms. And we shall be praying today from the book of Psalms, chapter number 4. Psalms, chapter number 4. If you have your Bible, wherever you are, open your Bible with me to the book of Psalms, chapter 4. As we connect with scriptural revelation to press on the altar of prayer. As we get ready to pray, I'd like you to note and understand that Psalms are revelational and prophetic utterances. They are revelational scriptures. They are prophetic utterances. Utterances by men inspired by the Spirit. And they are loaded with divine abilities to make things happen when they are connected with wholeheartedly. Psalms are loaded with divine ability. They produce testimonies. I've said over and over again, if Psalm worked for David, then they are packaged to work. If through Psalm, David gained deliverance, then you can gain your deliverance as well. Therefore, by the reason of Psalm 4 today, God will wrought wonders in your life. God will use Psalm 4 for your liberation. God will use Psalm 4 for your lifting. God will use Psalm 4 for open doors unto you. God will use Psalm 4 to defeat anything that has defeated you. God will use Psalm 4 to open up great doors of mighty testimonies in your life. In the mighty name, of Jesus Christ. Let's look at Psalm chapter 4. We begin to draw revelation from verse 1. The Bible says Psalm chapter 4 verse 1. Hear me when I call. O God of my righteousness. Thou hast enlarged me. When I was in distress. Have mercy upon me. And hear my prayer. Now. Verse 1 of Psalm 4 is loaded with certain revelations that we need to pray. Number one of the things I saw here is that God hears prayer and God answers prayer. And that's why David was saying to God, Hear me when I call. Answer me also. Have mercy on me. Hear my prayer. Hear me and hear my prayer. And when God hears you, when God hears your prayer, answers must come. But many times, people's answer have not been able to come because something has stood on the way of their testimony. Something can stand on your way that God will not be able to hear. Some can stand on your way that answer will not be able to come. The first day that Daniel prayed, his prayer was answered but certain things stood on his way that he could not receive the testimony of his answered prayer. And I want us to pray today. God is a prayer answering God, but you need to come against anything that is standing between you and your answers to prayer. Therefore, 
You are going to lift up your voice and pray this prayer very, very well with understanding. Say in the name of Jesus, anything standing between me and my answers to prayer, today be uprooted in the name of Jesus. Be uprooted by the mercies of God. Whatever is standing between me and my answers to prayer. What is that thing standing between you and your healing? What is that thing standing between you and your marital breakthrough? What is that singular thing standing between you and your promotion? Command that thing to be uprooted. Press the button of prayer. What has been standing between you and the miracle you have been waiting for? They must come down today. Every spiritual obstruction, every physical obstruction, every human obstruction, every obstruction and embargo of sin, they must come down. I command them uprooted by the power of the Holy Ghost. I decree and I declare, what is that thing that has been standing between me and my answers to prayer? You are a liar. From today, be uprooted. On the altar of prayer today, be uprooted. Anything that is standing between me and my miracle, anything standing between me and my breakthrough, your time is all. Press that button very well. Pray that prayer very well. It must come down. Enough is enough. They have delayed you enough. They have stopped your testimony enough. They have hindered your, your lifting enough. It is time. You have been praying for that, your daughter. This prayer must be answered today. What has been standing between you must give way. Rabba Kazayaba. Rekete proje breketula. Azize surekelia. Enough is enough. Enough is enough. Yes, Lord. Thank you, my Father. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. As you say, my Lord and clear, whatever has been standing between you and your answers to prayer, whatever has been standing between you and your miracle, whatever has been standing between you and your breakthrough on the altar of prayer today, I command them to be destroyed. I command them to be demolished. I command them to scatter in the name of Jesus Christ. From today, no more will your prayer go unanswered. The Bible says that Daniel, from the day you have prayed, your prayer has been answered. But there was this prince of Persia that withstood the messenger of good news that's supposed to be the answer and the testimony of Daniel's prayer. But there was an heavenly intervention that came against this earthly interception. Today, anything on the earth, anything under the earth, anything in the heavenlies, anything in your life, anything in your foundation, anything around you that has been hindering your answers to prayer, Holy Ghost fire, come against them today. The mercy of the Lord will clear you away from there. Everything you have done in secret places that has been serving as the obstruction to your answered prayer, the mercy of God liberate you today. The mercies of God liberate you today in the name of Jesus Christ. No wonder David said, hear me when I call. From today, even on the altar of prayer today, as you call, God will hear. And as God hears, answers will come. As answers come, situation will change. In the name of Jesus Christ. Thank you, my Father. Blessed be God. We are still praying from Psalm 4. Still in verse 1. When you look at verse 1, David says something. He said, you are the God of my righteousness. You have enlarged me when I was in distress. Ah, that means... There was a turnaround in situation. God turned distressing situation into distinction. You enlarge me when I was in distress. The word enlarge means you made room for me. The word enlarge could also mean you turn the distress around and you give me a turnaround. So when David said, in my distress, you enlarged me. Because you are the God of my righteousness. The, you are the God that does right things. You are the God that makes things right. And when you come into the sin on my behalf, 
you 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 brought me into enlargement when I was in distress. To be in distress means you are down in a situation that the the solution does not look appearable. But God that is a master worker, Ayama so brigade, yeah, he can work in any situation. He brought enlargement out of distress. You are also going to pray. Because I saw revelationally that God can turn situations around by his mighty act. Therefore, you are going to pray. Say, Father, today, turn every distressing situation in my life around to a testimony. Turn every distressing situation in my life. Turn them around to a testimony. Every distressing situation, financial situation that has brought me distress, every situation that has brought me sorrow, turn them around to testimony. Somebody is praying that prayer. Today is your own day of turnaround. Oh, Lord, my God, turn every distressing situation in my life. Turn them around to testimony on the altar of prayer today. Bring me out from this distressing situation. Anything that has brought you stress, that has brought you pain, that has brought you sorrow, that is a distressing situation. You must come out. God is turning them around to a testimony. That present trouble you have, God is turning them around to a testimony. There is somebody listening to me. The Lord said you have been having distressing situation concerning your career. In that academic, you are almost giving up. You are almost losing hope because you are at the point where you are frustrated. But get ready for a turn around. A turn around from heaven. Thank you, my Father. In Jesus' mighty name, we pray. As you say, amen, loud and clear today. Every distressing situation, every situation that has brought you sorrow, whatever has made your head to be bowed down, anything that has killed your jaw, that has stolen your peace of mind, I decree today, God is turning them around. It will become a testimony. That your trial will become a testimony. That your trouble will become a testimony. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Hear me. Where they have been fighting against you. And rising up against you unjustly. It will become a testimony. Every distressing situation. That you find yourself. Today. God is making a way of escape. It will make room for you. You are coming out of there. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. In 2 Samuel chapter 22. From verse 17 to 20. I'm telling you about God. That can turn distressing situation. And bring out testimony from there. 2 Samuel 22. Verse 17 to 20. The Bible says. He sank from above. He took me. He drew me out of many waters. Aha. He delivered me from my strong enemy and from them that hated me, for they were too strong for me. The Bible says in verse 20, He brought me forth also into a large place. He delivered me, you see, from a distressing situation, many water. He brought me to a large place. From a distressing situation, he turned my situation around. Everyone saying a melody and clear. Whatever represents many water, you are coming out from there. In the name of Jesus Christ, I decree a turnaround. Financial turnaround. Matrimonial turnaround. Spiritual turnaround. Career turnaround. In the name of Jesus Christ. Whether the devil likes it or not, you are coming out from that distressing situation. Thank you, Heavenly Father. Blessed be your holy name. Oh, glory be to God. We are still praying. We are still praying from Psalm 4. Let us look at verse 2. Psalm 4 now, verse 2. The Bible says, Oh, ye sons of men, sons of men, in plural, 
sons of men. <laughs> How long will you turn my glory into shame? How long will you love vanity and seek after listening? I want you to understand the revelation behind verse 2 is the operations of the sons of men. The operations of the sons of men. The Bible said here that the sons of men, as part of the power in their hand, and as part of the evil they do, they can turn people's glory into shame. They can turn glory into shame. They can turn celebration into frustration. My God. Oh, ye sons of men, how long will you turn my glory to shame? So they, they were turning good things around to evil. Now there are many people listening to me. The operations of the sons of men have brought them into trouble. They are passing through what they are passing through now because somebody brought them there. Somebody could have made a mistake. Somebody could have committed an error. Somebody could have intentionally attacked them. Somebody could have said something. The operations of the sons of men. The operations of the sons of men can be good and many times they can also be evil. But many times, there is nothing that will happen on the earth without the hand of the operations of the sons of men. Therefore, you are going to pray. And I want you to pray this prayer very well and with authority. Because today, many people's glory has already been converted to shame. What's supposed to be bringing them joy? The operations of the sons of men are stamped with that thing. Number one prayer you are praying from this revelation. Say in the name of Jesus, I paralyze and I frustrate every negative operations of the sons of men concerning my life. Today, lift up your voice and pray that prayer. I paralyze, I scatter, I frustrate, I cancel, I destroy every negative operation. Every evil activity of the sons of men over my life. Ah, today I scatter them. Every operation of the sons of men that has been done in secret places. Every operation of the sons of men against my life, against my marriage. Come on, pray that prayer. Woman, pray that prayer. Young man, pray that prayer. The sons of men has opposed you. They have hindered you. They have sat upon your promotion. Wake up and pray that prayer. Scatter their oppression. Paralyze their activity. Paralyze their oppression over your life. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Every evil oppression. Every negative oppression. Of the sons of men. Concerning my ministry. Concerning my life. Today it is over. It is over today. I scatter it. I paralyze it. I frustrate it. I cancel it. I destroy it. It will no longer prosper. A bros of Enough is officer no. Oh yes sons of men. What are you doing with my glory? Why are you tampering with my life? Enough is no. Mama pray that prayer. Baba pray that prayer. Young lady, pray that prayer. You say, Mama Yakataba, a pray the Mosus Abra. Anyone in your family troubling your law, paralyze the activity. Everyone cursing you, paralyze the activity. Everyone using their proposition to stand on your way, paralyze the activity. Everyone planning evil for you, frustrate their plan. Come on, press the button of prayer. Something is happening as you are praying. Somebody is being released right now. Manebro Zuya Catalia. Thank you, my father. Oh, wonderful, wonderful, wonderful. In Jesus' mighty name, we pray. Hear me? Today, in the name of Jesus Christ, everyone under the sound of my voice, that life has been difficult for you. Things have been hard on you because of the operations of the sons of men. There is someone listening to me. The Lord said, because of hatred, because of hatred, they have stood on your way. 
even place negative and wrong accusations against you for what you don't know anything about. But hear me and hear heaven. Everything that the sons of men have been doing against your life, it is over. I paralyze that activity. Hear me. Every oppression of the sons of men that has refused to get, let you get married. Every oppression of the sons of men that has been blocking your womb. Every oppression of the sons of men that has been standing on the way of your promotion. Every oppression of the sons of men that has delayed you it at all. Today it is over. I paralyze that oppression. I frustrate that oppression in the name of Jesus Christ. Sometimes... This operation can be from family member. We saw in the book of Judges chapter 11. From verse 1 to 11. A very wonderful man. The Bible called him a man of valor. By the name Jephthah. He was a wonderful man. A very wonderful and, de and, 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 and destiny oriented young man. But the family, his brothers, they sent him out of his house. They sent him out from his father's house. They said, we don't want him to have an inheritance in our father's house. Oh, the sons of men, there are many people in life. Things are bad for them because of what bloodline has done against them. Bloodline, can you imagine? Brothers and sisters looking for ways to kill one another. Husband looking for ways to sit upon the glory of his wife. Ayema Somba Yaba, hear me. Anyone listening to me that they have taken your name to any evil altar. They have reported you to any strange altar. In the name of Jesus Christ, may thunder strike on that altar. Anyone running around because of your sake, they are using their position. They are using their place. They are using their money. They are using their influence. Every oppression of the sons of men negatively affecting your life. It is over. I frustrate it. I scatter it. It will not prosper. Anyone hear me? Where they have been targeting your glory and they want to turn it to shame in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Today it is over. Thank you my father. Blessed be your holy name. Oh, wonderful, wonderful. Yami, the Lord said there is somebody listening to me. He said, be careful of what you have been saying to people about your husband. He said, you have been reporting and talking everywhere about your husband. And certain powers and forces are taking it off from your behalf to fight for you. And they are troubling that destiny. But even now, it is time for you to decease from talking around concerning your own. From talking around concerning what's happening within your own. Because the people you are reporting to, they are going about on your behalf to far. But he said there is going to be something that will be wrong. And when it backfire, it's going to backfire on, your, on, on you. Because some people have taken it on your behalf to go and fight for you. But here heaven, he said, God said, I will intervene. I will work things out on your behalf. He said, fear not. I'm bringing restoration. I'm Baradea. I see I, I see your pain. See the Lord of hosts. Is Suma Karedo. I see your sacrifice. I'm bringing joy and gladness over back to you. Now, woman, if this word is for you, I don't know who you are. Try call me after this prayer. There is a specific word for you and a specific prayer to pray. I know God is doing something. You know this is you because God is speaking to your situation in the precious name of Jesus Christ. Thank you, my father. Oh, blessed be God. We are still praying from Psalm 4. We are still praying from Psalm 4. He said, ye sons of men, how long will you turn my glory to shame? So they have been doing it for some time. He now said, how long? From today, everyone that does not want to desist from troubling you, physically or spiritually, anyone that does not want to desist in any place of the world from frustrating your life, from standing on your way, may God clear them away for you in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Thank you, my father. We are still praying. I saw something also from this verse. There are some things that the sons of men must have done that we need God to restore back. They might have tampered with something. We need God to restore them back. We have 
frustrated their plans and operation. But now you need to bring restoration of what they have tampered with. There are some people, they have tampered with their health. They have tampered with their children because they saw that they have good things and they don't have. They have exchanged some people's glory. But you are going to pray this prayer very loud and clear. Say, oh God, arise. Today, restore every good thing that the operations and the activities of the sons of men are stampered with him Allah. Restore, restore every good thing that the operations of the sons of men has negatively tampered with in my life, consciously or unconsciously. Every good thing that the operations of the sons of men are stampered with in my life, in my home, in my health, over my children. Restore them back today. Restore, restore. Somebody needs to pray. God, restore my glory. They have turned your glory to shame. Restore my glory, oh God. Restore back to me every good thing that the sons of men are stampered with. Every good thing in my home, in my health, concerning my progress, concerning my future, that has been tampered with by the sons of men. Restore them today. Oh, Lord of heaven, restore my glory. Restore my glory. Pray that prayer. Restore my glory. Oh, God of heaven, restore my joy. Restore my peace. Restore my health. Restore, restore every good thing that the sons of men are stampered with in Allah. They must be restored. They must be restored. Thank you, my father. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. When the sons of men in the house of Jephthah, they sent him out. When God restored him, he became the head of the city. They sent him out from his father's house. He ruled over the whole nation. Ah, ah, ah. Hear me. Whatever the sons of men are stampered with in your life, may God in his infinite mercy restore them back to you. He will restore them back to you. He will restore your peace of mind. He will restore your marriage. Ah, masumakaba. Every good relationship between you and your helpers of destiny that has been tampered with by certain external forces because of what they want to eat and because of what they want to drink, God is restoring that relationship. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, God is restoring that joy, is restoring that relationship in the name of Jesus Christ. Thank you, my Father. In Jesus' mighty name, we pray. I want you to pray this final one. Still in Psalm 4. Psalm 4, look at verse 6 to 7. Psalm 4, verse 6 to 7. The Bible says, There be many that say, There be many that say, They are saying something. Who will show us any good? But he said, Lord, Lift thou up the light of your countenance upon us. Thou hast put gladness in our heart more than the time that their corn and their wine increase. This one is talking about the voice of antagonism. The voice of antagonism. The voice of the antagonist. People that always want to speak against good things from happening to people. They know how to go about saying negative things about other people. They go about blocking people's access where they're supposed to be favored. He said, many are they that say, they are saying, who will show them good? They are busy mocking them. They are busy using their voices to antagonize them so that good things will not happen to them. You are going to pray against voices today. I want you to silence any kind of voice that comes to your mind. Any kind of voice. Wherever those voices are speaking, they must be silenced. Because by the reason of today's prayer, good things will come to your way. You will find favor. You will receive help. People will do you good. In the name of Jesus Christ, say today. I want you to say it loud and clear. Say today. I silence every voice. Blocking the manifestation of good things in my life. 
Be silenced now. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Come on, pray that prayer. I silence every voice of antagonism that is blocking good things in my life. Every voice blocking the manifestation of good things over my business. Every voice blocking the manifestation of good things concerning my family. Wherever those voices are speaking, I silence them today. Enough is enough. I silence them today. Every voice of the antagonist that has been speaking against me, where I'm supposed to be favored, every voice blocking the manifestation of good things. Somebody is speaking against you where you have applied for job. They have said, let us employ him. They said, no, I decree those voices will be silent. Every voice disqualifying you. Every voice speaking negatively about you. Every voice of negative allegation. Every voice of antagonism. Every voice of destiny destroyer. I silence them today in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. You will no longer speak over me. I silence you. I silence you. Oh my God, my God. I command the voices of the wicked, the voice of evil, the voice of antagonism that is blocking the manifestation of good things in my life. Be silenced forever. You will not rise again. You will not speak any longer. Thank you, my Father. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. I therefore come in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth to decree and to declare by the power of God every voice of antagonism that has been speaking against your life, I command all of them silence in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Every voice of destiny blocker, every voice that is hindering the manifestation of good things in your life, Maraba Soso Prekejedaba, Malibra Soso Payaka, Ashasha Parada, Malabra Sakete Bosha, Alibre No Suseba. Those voices are silenced in the name of Jesus Christ. Those voices are silenced in the name of Jesus Christ. Those voices are silenced in the mighty name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. In Matthew chapter 15, from verse 22, a woman whose daughter was possessed with the devil came to Jesus. And the Bible says this woman cried for Jesus' help. But Jesus answered that not a word. And suddenly, the disciples of Jesus, sometimes these voices can come from unexpected sources. They can come from places you never expected them to come from. The disciples of Jesus said to Jesus, send her away, Abba. They said, send her away. These are supposed to be people that should have spoken to the master on the behalf of this woman. But you know what they say? Master, send her away. These are voices of antagonism. The voices that cannot help you, but they are even standing against you between before people that could help you. They want to block your help. I believe that these disciples will have said, Master, Please, help this woman. Master, please, do something. But the Bible says, Matthew 15, 23, And the disciples say, Send her away, for she cried after us. But at the end of the day, their voices were silenced because the woman knew what to do. She worshipped the master. And she said, when they said the food that belongs to children, they don't give to dogs. The woman said, even the crumbs comes to God. Even the crumbs comes to dogs. The voices will have silenced her. But she refused to be silenced. I have a word of admonition for somebody. They have been trying to silence you. Refuse to be silenced. Because if this woman has kept silent, if she had kept quiet, she would have missed a miracle. But she refused to be silenced. From today, every voice of antagonism that is even rising from places you don't expect, rising from corners you don't expect, they are silenced in the name of Jesus Christ. Every good thing that these voices has blocked you from receiving, I command your release. I command your release. I command your release. In the name of Jesus Christ, I command the release right now. I pray for you today that every good thing in Psalm 4, it shall be delivered to you. 
the liberty, the freedom in Psalm 4, it shall happen in your life. Whatever is loaded in Psalm 4 as a testimony, it shall become your portion in the name of Jesus Christ. By the reason of today's encounter with Psalm 4, enter into a new breakthrough. Enter into a new order of result. No more frustration. No more failure. No more stagnation. In the name of Jesus Christ, somebody is coming out. Somebody is breaking forth. Somebody is rising higher. Go to the next level. Thank you, my father. Lift up your voice. Give God praise and celebrate him. Give God praise. Give him glory. Give him praise. Psalm 4 is working for you. Psalm 4 is stepping you high. Psalm 4 is lifting you up. Glory, glory, glory to God. Thank you, Heavenly Father. Now, write down the prayer for the week. Write down the prayer for the week. And this week you are going to pray. That Father, this week, send evil far away from me. Send evil far away from me. As you pray that prayer, you are praying with Psalm 20. You are praying that prayer with Psalm 20. Evil is far away from you. I use this period to pray for everyone that has been experiencing any disaster. In this kind of time, the disaster is over. We stand in our place of authority. We raise a standard against flood. We raise a standard against earthquake. We raise a standard against every form of tsunami. We raise a standard against every form of trouble. Natural disaster. Cease in Jesus' name. Everyone that has been affected. By this disaster, I decree speedy recovery, speedy restoration in the name of Jesus Christ. Send evil far away from me. Everyone listening to me, you will not be a victim of evil. You will not be a victim of evil. Evil is far away from you. Go in peace and return with testimony. Lift him up and give him praise. What an awesome time in God's presence. What an awesome time in his presence. Glory, glory be to God. In Jesus' mighty name, we pray. Thank you, Jesus. Oh, wonderful, wonderful. I want to appreciate every one of you for connecting with the prayer today. You are blessed of the Lord in the name of Jesus Christ. I know you are blessed today. I want you to stand praying and pray. If you'd like to listen to this prayer again, just go to the Facebook page of the Empowerment Teleconference Prayer Line. When you get to Facebook, just search for Empowerment Teleconference Prayer Line. The, 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 the podcast will be there. You can listen to it. You can download it. And, and then if you want me to send it to you as a link, you can text me your email address. I will send it to you. Download it. Listen to it. Send it to your friend. Let somebody be liberated. And God take all the glory in that precious name. Of Jesus Christ. Now I want to welcome everyone that is connecting with us for the first time. You are blessed of the Lord in the name of Jesus Christ. This prayer encounter holds every Tuesday. We have two sections of prayer every Tuesday. First section is 9 p.m. to 9.30 p.m. And second section is 11 p.m. to 11.30 p.m. By the grace of God, beginning from next week, that is going to be June, we, our prayer is going to be one hour from 9 p.m. to 10 p.m and 11 p.m. to 12 p.m. So get ready to pray. You pray through. Jesus said, can you not watch with me for one hour? So that we pray through one hour. Get ready. It's going to be explosive. From next week, it's one hour. And I know, as you spend more time in prayer, you will definitely enter into a new dimension of breakthrough in the precious name of Jesus Christ. I'd like you to share this prayer with your friend, send them, always send them a reminder to connect with the prayer line. God does wonders, and it is their turn. You can also listen to prayer on our 24 hours radio, the Empowerment Praying Radio. It's a 24 hours radio station dedicated to broadcasting prayer all around the clock. The link is www.prayingradio.org. And in case you want to get in touch with me for prayers or counseling, you can call this number directly. 972-639-1762. 972-639-1762. Shall do all within our capacity to be a blessing to you. And God will certainly answer our prayers in the precious name of Jesus Christ. Now, right before we share the goodness, 
I want to invite you, if you are in the Dallas Fort Worth Metroplex, I want to invite you this Sunday to a quarterly interdenominational revival called Moment of Destiny Empowerment. Mode. Moment of Destiny Empowerment. It's a quarterly interdenominational prayer revival this Sunday. I want you to be there. Come experience God life at the Empowerment Center. 838 Secretary Drive, Arlington, Texas, 76015. And the time is 6 p.m. to 9 p.m. It's an evening program. It's quarterly. And this is the first for this year. You will have a testimony in the precious name of Jesus. I look forward to receiving you on Sunday. You will be blessed in Jesus' name. As you go, the Lord go with you. May the hand of the Lord rest upon you in the precious name of Jesus. Return with testimony. Enter into your breakthrough. In Jesus' precious and mighty name, we pray. Amen. Let's together share the goodness in fellowship. Surely, God's goodness and mercy shall follow us all the days of our lives. And we all shall dwell in the house of the Lord forever and ever. Amen. If you believe that you are returning with a testimony, shout the loudest hallelujah. God bless you. It is well with you. Go in peace and return with a very great testimony in Jesus' name. Receive my praise, oh Lord. Receive my praise, oh Lord. Blessing and honor I bring unto you. Receive my praise, oh Lord. Glory be to God. Hallelujah. This is Benjamin Beckley of the Empowerment Center here in Arlington, Texas, USA. The privileged host of the Empowerment Brain Radio. Thank you so much for listening to the Empowerment Brain Radio. Thank you for watching the Empowerment Television Network. I appreciate you so much. I want to appreciate you for your time. I want to appreciate you for all your support. Thank you for sharing it with your friends. You are blessed. This is my prayer. That God will continue to use these platforms to be a blessing to you. God will use it to settle you. God will use it to advance you in the precious name of Jesus Christ. Now, at this time, I've come to share a wonderful and a good news with you. I want you to know that you have been a partaker of the grace of God at work here at the Empowerment Center. And now God is moving us higher. God is moving us to a bigger place, a better place, and a blessed place. To the glory of God, the Empowerment Center, God is enlarging our coast. And uh, this year, we will be moving into a bigger facility. God is taking us to a larger place. And in this place, we are believing God to set up a, a mini studio wherein we can be able to advance what God is doing through us on the brain radio as well as on the television. We will be having a television studio there that we will be able to broadcast more life transforming programs that will be more of a blessing to you as well all over the world. However, as we go into this project, I want you to be a partaker of this blessing. I've come at this time to seek your support. I covet your support financially uh, in all areas that you can be of a support to this project. As God has blessed you, whatever you can uh, bless us with as we go on in this project. If you like to support or make a donation financially, we would really, really appreciate it. And I know it will surely bring forth blessings to you. So I covet your financial support, your prayer support, as well as your encouragement as we transition into this new era. Uh, if you want to be a blessing financially, you can sow any seed as God has given you the privilege and willingly as well. And according to the blessings of God upon your life, we would really appreciate it. You can sow a seed uh, online on any of our platforms all of them are highly secured you can go on to the brain radio www.brainradio.org you will find a donation link there you can make a donation online 
and uh, you can also go to empowermenttv.org you can also make a donation online and if you would like to mail in a check we we'll really appreciate that as well as we pursue this great project you can mail in your check to the empowerment center p.o box 2611 arlington texas 76004 the address again where you can mail in your check is the empowerment center p.o box 2611 arlington texas 76004 i'm mailing your check i'm mailing your cash donation whatever god has blessed you with we sincerely will appreciate it and we are definitely praying for you and as we also advance in this i know certainly that god will advance your life as well in the precious name of jesus i bless you from the bottom of my heart that you will never lack god will support you god will send help to you in the name of jesus christ as you support and advance the work of god as we reach out to the world in the name of jesus christ all that concerns you shall be perfected god will give you a token for good and as you advance this project your destiny will advance your children will advance your marriages will advance all that concerns you is blessed in the name of jesus christ once more thank you so much for always being a blessing Keep listening to the brain radio. Keep watching the apartment TV. Send it to somebody. Share it with somebody. It's going to be a blessing to someone. And in case you want to get in touch, maybe you need more information on this project, you can call me directly on this number. Plus one, nine, seven, two, six, three, nine, one, seven, six, two. The number again, nine, seven, two, six, three, nine, one seven six two if you are calling from outside of the united states please do put plus one and if you want to send an email you can send an email to info info at praying radio dot org info at praying radio dot org thank you so much god bless you god keep you appreciate you and i know you shall continue to enjoy the goodness of the Lord in the land of the living in Jesus' precious name. God bless you. Amen. I have a living God.